Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another video and I think we missed July's monthly plan with me. If you guys do want to see July monthly plan with me, I will add it to the end of this video and just make it as a sped through. For our August monthly view, we'll be using our August monthly mystery kit here as I am going to show you. Um, you do get four sticker sheets and a freebie sticker sheet plus a freebie date dot too. So this is all the stickers I'll be using for my monthly view kit, for my monthly view spread, sorry. And those who are new that just joined our channel, this is the glossy version of the Happy Planner set. And I know you all are pros at how to set up the stickers, but for those who just joined us, there are certain ways to lay down our monthly mystery kit. Firstly, you do the sidebar, then you do the blank date box, and lastly, you do the title bars. The reason we do it in layers is because the way I designed the stickers itself, they are die cut, so they have to be layered in a certain way so that the die cut would um, sit on top of the other stickers to make it a bit more dimensional. Here I am building the sidebar. With the sidebar I do give you five stickers in the kit for you to choose and use for the monthly view and the stickers that you don't use you can also use it in your weekly spread because they do fit on the sidebar of the weekly spread too. Next step are your blank date boxes. So here I've labeled that this one will be your top blank box and the bottom will be for the bottom because there's just only two blank boxes on the top and two on the bottom. So it's kind of hard to distinguish which one goes where. So I just labeled them there so that you guys know where to put them. And here's a view of what I meant by my stickers being die cut instead of your straight rectangle or square boxes and that is why you have to do them in different layers because that this sticker will have to overlap your sidebar for it to make it work or for it to look how it should look and I'm going to finish the bottom blank boxes now these blank boxes are an option for you guys too you could either put them down or not it's up to you you don't have to always have them in your monthly view if you feel that some of my designs are a bit too overwhelming with flowers or too overwhelming in patterns you have that option and choice of not putting it down too with this monthly view, I didn't want to overwhelm it with a lot of flowers, so that's why I left the title bars a little bit plain, um, in that there is not much die cut to it. The reason for it is because it is a ballet slash dance theme. The theme for or inspiration for this mystery kit was ballet, and to me, ballet is being calm and airy and not that busy with other decorations like everything is so graceful and calm and at peace so I've decided to use this month as being a little bit more dulled down not dulled down but like <laughs> softer softer in color and not as overwhelming and busy because ballet should be just simple clear airy and elegant once the setup is done, I usually do fill in the holiday. There is one Canadian holiday, which is Civic Holiday, but I decide not to put it on here for my spread. Um, those who do have a Canadian address, I did send out a Civic Holiday sticker with your kits. After the holidays, I would do celebration, meaning anniversaries or birthdays or birthday parties. So my parents' wedding anniversary is on the 13th of August. I'm just gonna indicate that with a cake and a flag and that comes in the kit. And that's it for birthdays and anniversary. Next, I'm just gonna put a day off sticker instead of the civic holiday sticker on the 7th because that is civic holiday and I am going to take that day off. However, the Etsy shop will be open also, August 1st is our September, September, September Mystery Kit to pre-sale, which will start on August 1st, and I think I'm going to have it run till um, August 8th. And with the pre-sale, it's free shipping worldwide. 
And that's only for the September mystery kit. My little girl has camp that week, so I'm gonna indicate that with this washi that comes with the kit too. If you decide not to use these washi, you could also use them in your headers for your weekly spread. They do fit as headers. Here in Canada or in my neighborhood, we have a bi-weekly garbage waste disposal schedule. So one week we do recycling and organics, and the other weeks we will do garbage and organics. So here I'm just indicating when to put my garbage and recycling out. Next are my bill dues and paydays. I also realized that my son has camp on the first week of August, so I'm going to use this washi. This washi is actually from our shop. Um, it's not released yet. I'm in the works of taking photos and writing out contents for this collection. The monthly mystery kit do also come with the Hello August stickers which you could randomly place anywhere and I like to randomly place it anywhere in my spread so I decided to place it there. And I think that's it for this month. Nothing much planned for August. I'm just going to start filling everything in. I totally forgot to indicate my bed changing <laughs> schedule. So it's every two weeks we change the sheets. And obviously our date nights. How could I forget about our bi-weekly date nights? So our date nights landing on the 12th and the 26th of this month. The date night sticker I used here is from Add a Little Shine. It's a rose gold foil icon sticker. I also thought I should add a little banner sticker here to celebrate my parents' wedding anniversary. So that's it guys. My August month is done. Nothing too busy, not like the summertime, even though it's end of summer, but everything's starting to die down, which is good. Here I'm gonna show you the Erin Condren version so you guys could see how Erin Condren looks like. These are my mock-ups, meaning that before I do do the huge printouts and cut cutting, I do a mock spread so I know that it fits in the book before I do the whole production. So this is the Erin Condren version here. For those of you who want to still stay and watch the July monthly plan with me, it will be right after this video. But those of you who decide not to, let me just say goodbye to you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Um, for the July plan with me video, it's just going to be a spread through video with no voiceover.
thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy these videos sorry I didn't post up the July monthly kit as a regular July monthly plan with me but I hope you like the spread through wishing you all my pinkies a lovely week and weekend and happy planning see you in my next video bye